Welcome everyone to Lennox Lenny channel. If you're not a subscriber, you soon know, alright? Hit the like button also before the video you just start peeps. Alright, it's gonna be great. Alright, so we're looking at finding the volume of basically 3D shapes or the term it as mixed shape. Alright, so let's look at the first one. Take out a calculator, guys. Take out a calculator. Alright, so number one, again, remember your encouragers always to try the video. Try the question, rather. Alright, so the first one says find the volume. Um, this is what we call a cylinder. Alright, so basically for finding the volume, all we're doing is find the area of the base and then by the height. In this case, the circle would be the base, alright? So it's pi r square times the height. So that's it. The area of the circle times the height. Um so let's just see if we can use 24 or 7. Since we have seven as the height here, yeah. so that's pi r would be the radius in this case. It's three, so it's three times three because it's squared and times seven. And from there, we can just cancel seven cancel seven, so that's one, and then the final answer would be three times 22, which is what 66. So the final answer will be 66 times 3. We'll get that. 36 is 18. 36 is 18. So the answer will be 198.3. Remember, volume is three dimensional. So it should be that. We got my son Sanjay Bennett. All right, so let's move on to number two. And this is what we call a triangular prism. So it's P R I S M. Alright, so that's how you spell prism. Alright, so again, remember it's area of the base times the height. Now, in this case, there's some derivative as length. That's how the Americans would do. So let's go. So this would be 30. I think this is 11. So that's for the right angle triangle part. We find the area of the base. And the by the height which is 15. Remember, guys, I'm just going to use my calculator. This gives me punch in there. Type in the answer fast, guys. We'll get it. It's 2145. Divided by two, which works out to one thousand seven twenty two point five, and that's feet cubic. All right, so let's move on to the sphere. So again, remember it's different, different type. So very nice video this will be. So the formula for this, guys, you have to know the formula. This will not be on the formula sheet. Okay, let me see. Let's so. write the formula just in case. So it's four times pi r p. All right. So let's put in that information. Four per pi can use pi as 
t by one four since I'm gonna use my calculator. And then three times three times three times three. And that's what the t is doing, right? Again, I'm just gonna use my calculator. And the final answer works out to uh, Guys, please ensure you are in your calculator, all right? So remember, you are the one going to be in the exam. Let's go. Let's move on to number four. All right, this one is pretty straightforward. So this one is all part of two boys. The like button guys if you're just joining all right please ensure that you subscribe if you have not subscribed thank you so much for that all right looking forward to our videos so it's the area of the base so that will be eight times twelve but the base is what is it on right so this is that and then the height will be four so we multiply by four so four is a 32, 32 times 4, 32 times 12. Again, I'm going to just put this in my calculator. That's it. 4, 6, 24. 4, 9, 36, and 2, 28. So that's 38 millimeter. All right, so we're going to move on to the cone. So I'm not just doing it, and the cone is one third pi r squared. So let me tell you the reason for that. I've done the videos on that on my channel. The cone, say a cone, we have a cone and a cylinder with the same height. If we take three of the cone, we fill up one cylinder. So the cone is one third of a cylinder, right? So basically, we're just finding the area of an entire cone cylinder, and then we find one third of that. So let us punch in the numbers. So one third. I think we can use twenty two over seven since the height is seven. So we can cancel the so it's twenty two over seven. Hit the like button now, guys. Hit the like button. Oh, no, but now hit the like button. Oh, no, go on with it. Hit the like button, man. Oh, I will be 3 times 3. And then times the height is the same. So this cancel this. 3 cancel 3. So we have 1, 3. So it will be 3 times 22. 2, 4, 2, 1. This will go to 66. All right, so let's go again. We have another cylinder. But this time they give us the diameter. So if they give you the diameter, you just cut the thing off to get the radius. So it's pi r square h. All right, so pi is 3.14. I'm going to use the calculator. Since the diameter is 10, the radius will be 5. So it's 5 times 5. And then the height will be 11. Point shot in your calculator and tell me you get my guys. Save it in the comment section. And that works out to 866. Alright, so that is number six. Let's move on to number seven. Alright, so triangle again. So it's half the base, right? Half the base times the height for the triangle part, so that's what. It is six times nine. Is 54 and I'll multiply it by eight. Right? So remember we divide this by two. 
it is half the base times the height for the area of the triangle and notice it's uniform across. Alright. So all we have to do is just 6 times 9 times 18. Let me get my calculator for that again. What did you guys got? 6 times 9 times 18. Which worked out to 972. And the unit is centimeters. So it's 972. Since it's volume. Alright, let's go for this one now. So, here of the base. So here, so will also be 10. And we've 6. We can say 10. Here, since this is 10, opposite sides are equal. And if I do shape, sorry. This is a square, since this is 6 and this is 6. They go are 6, right? So, here of the base, 6 times 10 is 60. And then multiply it by 6. Which gives us 360 feet cubed. And our final one would be the volume of a cuboid again. Alright, so let's go. So here is 4. Opposite sides are equal, so this is 4. And here is also 4. This is 14. So in case you need a dimension, you know, how to solve it, how to get them. See, so you have a rectangle, so opposite sides are equal. Let's go, let's go. All right, so just multiply in the three dimension, and that is not very hard. Come on. It's 11 times 4, which was 44, and then you multiply that by. Again, to save time, I'm going to go straight to my calculator, All right? And this is 11 times, well, that's 44. This works out to 6, 1, 6 meter cube. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. This is my number. For those who want to join my class, please send 6, put a pep, a C, A, C, C, whatever it may be. So if you're engaged, let's watch out this number. This is the max many tomorrow for that. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in another video. Alright guys, I'm out.